people that just sit back and wait for things to happen. We go ahead and make things happen. We're tougher than the times we live in. We are bigger than the politics that we've been seeing these last few months. Let's meet this moment. Let's get back to work. Let's show the world once again why America is the greatest nation on earth. God bless It. He spoke right to the heart of the problem, jobs. Uh, people have a feeling uh, of hopelessness, that they can't do this, they can't do that, they're depressed. And these are people who are willing and able to work, but because of the present situ not situation you know, economically and nationally, they can't find jobs. And this infrastructure, those bri bridges and everything that need to come down, need to be repaired all over this country, will put millions of people back to work. Very inspiring, especially when he spoke on behalf of the veterans. Me being a 10-year vet of the U.S. Navy, um, I was looking forward to hearing what he had to say about bringing the vets home mm -hmm. and also uh, any, any benefits that he has um, made available for us. I'm in favor of President Obama's proposals uh, for jobs, but I'm very, very concerned about his foreign uh, relations and the State Department's move towards the Muslim community. There are only six million Jews in Israel, 14 million in the world. If a Palestinian state comes, they're going to die because the Shiites, the Sunnis, the Wahhabists are all killing each other. How can Israel make peace with groups that are killing each other? I think it was a great speech, you know, when, when, when you look at, you know, the, the initiative, it's uh, any time it talks about putting people back to work, it's a, it's a worthy cause. I mean, it's not, I don't think it should be questionable, debatable, whatever the case, I think it should be something that we see the need and we put forth an effort to try to get it done. I mean,